so let us discuss the one more problem on maxima and minima the maxima and minima has more weightage in actually in board examination papers it may carry 7 marks in the examination and is it is also one of the most important problems to be discussed so now let us read the question first if the curved surface of right circular cylinder inscribed in a sphere of radius small r is maximum that means the surface area of a circular cylinder which is inscribed in a sphere of radius r is maximum show that the height of the cylinder is root 2 times its radius r root 2 r we have to show so that means first let us make a plan let us devise a plan so what is the plan means first of all here first of all we should know the all the dimensions of that one so here sphere radius is smaller given but whereas the dimensions of the cylinder actually are not provided with us so let us assume capital r be the base radius of the cylinder and whereas h be the height of the cylinder and next here as the sphere radius r is given we have to treat r as constant but whereas h and capital r will r will be the here variables so now here let us recall the formula first of all see suppose here h and capital r with the dimensions of a cylinder here curved surface area we have the formula 2 pi r h this we have to recall it's very important so next second part is make a relation make a relation between h capital r and small r here small r is constant we have to treat constant and next c s s sometimes you can say no problem s is equal to 2 pi r h this square also we can write 4 pi square and r square h this r square value we have to substitute so in terms of small r and fourth step so we have to find out d s square by something it may be here d h for minimum or maximum this d s square by d h should be equal to 0 and next we have to verify second derivative second derivative then we need to prove the height of the cylinder height of the cylinder means h to prove h is equal to root 2 r this has to be proved so generally we have to make a plan like this so this is the plan Okay. So let us solve the problem. First, let us draw the figure sphere. Okay. Now, let us inscribe a cylinder. the height of the cylinder let us say h say this is the center of the sphere so this is this one is 
So A, this is B point, you join OB. This OB becomes the radius of the sphere, already given radius of the sphere. This is smaller, this will be smaller. This will be the actually H by 2, this OA will be. Let us say this is capillar. Capillar is the radius of the here cylinder. So, now this will be the right angle. So, right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem, we can establish relation among R, H, and capital R. So, now let us try here. So, now the radius of a sphere is smaller. So, that means R is given. Given means in the sense that is constant, fixed. Let O be the center of the sphere of the sphere. Okay. Next, let H and capital R be the height and radius of a cylinder, cylinder inscribed inscribed in a sphere in a sphere now from triangle oab oab using pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem, using Pythagoras theorem. So, using Pythagoras theorem, we have OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square, because this is the height of the cylinder and O be the center means this length is equal to this length. So, this will be obviously this will be h by 2. So, that means here O a equals to h by 2, do not get any confusion here. Now, O b is nothing but radius of the sphere r square h by 2 whole square and plus a b is nothing but here capital R, this will be capital R capital R. So, R square. So, now this equals to we can write H square by 4 plus R square. This can be rewritten as we can arrange the terms. So, R square is equal to we can write small r square minus H square by 4 in terms of H and R. So, equation 1. Now, we have to maximize the curved surface area of a right, right circular cylinder. So, that means, now we need to recall the formula for the curved surface area of a cylinder. So, curved surface of a cylinder, let us say that is S, CSA of a cylinder. that is 2 pi r h, r and height is h, 2 pi r h. But here just from equation 1, just you observe it, this is r square. So, in order to get r square, it had better to square 
s is equal to 2 pi r h. So, that means if s is maximum, s square is also maximum. If s square is maximum, it is obvious that s is also maximum. So, we need not worry, it will be the problem becomes very easy if you square it. But because in some test books directly taking by actually r value is equal to root of that will be very lengthy. So, when you apply the differentiation part to avoid that root value better squaring on both sides. So, now you adopt this method, this will be the easy squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. Now, what do we get squaring on both sides you see, it is very clear s square is equal to 4 pi square into capital R square into h square. So, now this r square value let us replace it that means from 1 from equation 1 the s square can be written as 4 pi square that is constant only r square is replaced by small r square minus h square by 4 multiplied by h square. Now, 4 pi square to r square h square minus h power 4 by 4, am I correct? Okay. Now, let us say something s square is equal to any other something function also, you can say capital A now better. A is equal to s square is equal to 4 pi square into r square h square minus h power 4 by 4. Now, let us differentiate with respect to h, because now a is in terms of only one variable h. So, differentiate both sides with respect to h. That means, d a by d h or d s square by d h, anything you can write it, no problem. So, that means, d a by d h equals to 4 pi square is constant, 4 pi square into small r square is also constant because that is given. So, r square into h square differentiation, here h square differentiation is 2 h. So, 2 r square h minus h power 4 by 4, 1 by 4 times h power 4 differentiation that is 4 h cube because x to the power of n differentiation is n into x to the power of n minus 1. So, what will be the derivative of h power 4? That is 4 times h to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. So, 4 h cube, am I correct or not? So, that means this we can write 4 h cube by 4, this 4 4 gets cancelled. So, we have 4 pi square into 2 r square h minus here h cube. So, let us find out the second derivative also. Differentiate again with respect to here x. Now, this will be the d 2 a by d h square equal to 4 pi square is constant. What is the h differentiation? Yes, you are correct 1, 2 r square into 1, 2 r square minus h cube differentiation is 3 h square, because 3 times h of 3 power minus 1, 3 h square. For maxima and minima, this d a by d h is equal to 0 d a by d h is equal to 0. So, that implies 
फोर पाई स्क्वायर ऑफ टू आर स्क्वायर एच माइनस एच क्यूब इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके हैव यू नोटिस सो नाउ दिस हियर वी कैन टेक एच कॉमन सो फोर पाई स्क्वायर एच सो टू आर स्क्वायर वी हैव एच स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस फोर पाई स्क्वायर एच इज डज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस टू आर स्क्वायर माइनस एच स्क्वायर मस्ट बी जीरो टू गेट जीरो बिकॉज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नेम्बर्स इज इक्वल जीरो एंड वन ऑफ द नेम्बर्स इज नॉन जीरो मीन्स डेफिनेटली द सेकेंड नेम्बर मस्ट बी जीरो सो वी है हियर सिंस वी कैन राइट फोर पाई स्क्वायर एच डज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मस्ट बी जीरो टू आर स्क्वायर माइनस एच स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो टू आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एच स्क्वायर इट्स वेरी क्लियर सो नाउ एच इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ टू आर स्क्वायर दैट इज रूट टू टाइम्स आर सो रूट टू टाइम्स आर सो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट मीन्स वी नीड टू चेक वेदर डी टू ए बाई डी एच स्क्वायर इज पॉजिटिव आर नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स सेकेंड डेरीवेटिव टेस्ट हैज टू बी कंडक्टेड हेयर सो एच is equal to root 2r now d2a by dh square at h is equal to root 2r equal to 4 pi square into 2r square minus here what we have 3 times h square already h square is equal to 2r square is there That is six r square. Six minus six r square plus two r square. What is the value? Minus four r square. Minus four r square into four pi square. Minus sixteen pi square r square. Pi square r square is positive. Positive into negative is negative. So it is obviously less than zero. That means here. A is maximum. Therefore, A is maximum means that implies S square is maximum. S square is maximum means hence S is maximum. S is maximum when H is equal to root two times R. Just observe it. So therefore, hence h is equal to root two times r. Hence, it is proved.